Yeah, you saw the thumbnail, and I'm going to turn this old shed into this Carolina coupe. I know what you're thinking. Hold on. I'm going to model it after this Carolina coupe. I am a real fan of Carolina coupes. I love Carolina coupes. I just don't have Carolina coupe money. So here's my professionally engineered drawing, which is showing two 20-foot runs on each side of the coupe, and the pink part is my little seven-foot overhangs that will be under there. The main part that I want to get right is this. Carolina Coops has this double open door with the screen doors and the clean out that folds down. I'm going to get that part right. So let me get started. So far, what we did was we dug around the old shed, getting down to the bottom of it so that we could see um, what was going on down there, as well as install our hardware cloth um, around the entire bottom of the building so that we can try to make sure as much as we can to keep the predators out. Out. We're going to go from the bottom of the building down into the ground and come out and then cover it up. And there are my two um, assistants to help me. I like to roll out my hardware cloth because it makes it easier to use um, for me as opposed to using it while it's rolled up. And so while I'm getting that rolled out and letting it stew for a minute, I am going to jump over and start to attach some of the loose pieces to the shed a couple shingles here and there and so i'm just going to make sure that everything is stable before i start to attach the hardware cloth and then finally i start to attach the hardware cloth and i attached and attached i felt like I used so many staples to try to make sure this thing was here. This would be a great time for you to do the button thing, you know, like, subscribe, notification bell. So here's what it looks like all installed. I doubled up on the corners, placed a little bit of dirt back there to hold it in place until my husband fills it back in. And as you can see, we went down and out. So hopefully that'll keep all of the unwanted critters away from my girls. The next step was to put the house wrap on. The house wrap went up a lot easier than the hardware cloth. I gotta tell you, um, the house wrap probably took about maybe 20 minutes. I actually ran out, had to go to the store and get more, but that was a pretty easy job. Um, and I got my husband in there to help. There it is with the house wrap on, and he'd actually gone back in between that time and started to fill the um, dirt back in, tapping it down every so often to make sure that it was packed in there really nice. I'm tired and I'm dirty, so do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell so that you'll know when I start the next part of this project, and the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Fran at Officially Fran. See you next time.